recording. Hello, first graders. Welcome to a new social study lesson. We are going to start with chapter one in our book, Our Place in the World. Today, we're going to start with the first lesson, being a good citizen. And as we always do, start with the new vocabulary that we're going to cover and learn for this chapter. So let's start. In this chapter, you'll be learning about rules, laws, responsibility, communities, and lots of new words. Some of them are we've been used for a previous lesson, and some they will be new for us. So let's see what we have here. We have citizen, a person who lives in a particular place. So when you live in a special place, a special country, or special, you are citizen of this country. Community a group of people who lives together in the same place. And we hear this word a lot about community. We're doing a lot for our community because we want to have fun and enjoy our lives. Democracy, a government that is run by the people who live under it. We will be learning all about that, don't worry. Law is a rule made by the government of town, state, or country. Past, a time that has gone by. Respect, a feeling of understanding that someone or something is important and should be treated in an appropriate way. So we need to respect each other. We need to treat each other with a good manner. We have responsibility. Responsibility is something a person should do. And we all need to do this. Right? Things a person is free to do. We all have responsibilities and we all have rights. And then we have voting. Voting when you express a wish by making a choice that is counted. And we do that sometimes in a class. We vote how we're going to um, do our um, break time, what are we gonna do for the recess? What kind of games are we gonna play? Which book should we read? So that when we vote, take counts and names and people vote or raise their hands or put their names and then we see which number or which names that were elected or choose more than others. Okay. So let's go to our book. Page two, being a good citizen. What are the rights, responsibilities of citizens? All right, in this lesson, we're gonna learn about rules and laws. For this chapter also, we're gonna learn about getting along with others. We're gonna learn also in this chapter about citizenship and respect, voting in our country and rights and responsibilities. So we have five lessons for chapter one. Let's start. Being a good citizen. What are the rights, responsibilities of citizens? So you have rights and you have responsibilities. You need to do things and you have the right to take things. In this chapter, chapter you will explore what it means to be a good citizen. You will learn about rights and responsibilities. You will think about how people should treat each other. You will also read about things that good citizens do. You will also work on a project or using this information to answer your question. Okay. This is the activity that we usually do and answer after we finish our chapter, because these are the words that we're gonna learn in our lessons. And when we finish our five lessons, we'll be able to answer. So we have the citizen, we have community, democracy, law, past, respect, responsibility, rights, and voting. All right. How do rules and laws help us? That's our first lesson. In this lesson, as you see, you're gonna explore how rules and laws help us, why we're learning it, and how can we practice 
this information in our daily life. So if we look at this picture, we can see a student and what she's doing, she's following that traffic rules that people help the child to be safe, following the rules, knowing when to cross, when to stop. All right. Now let's see what are rules, page eight. Rules tell us what to do. Rules help us to stay safe. Rules help us get along. One rule is to, to, is to walk when you are inside. This rule keeps people safe. It's not safe to run inside. And these, what we have in our class, we have our class rules, like be kind to others, raise your hand, respect other people's properties or belongings, um, never be a bully, always take turns, and all this, more than that, all these class rules, for example, help us to get along, help us to all be treated equally, help us to enjoy our time, help us to be safe. Good citizens follow rules. Citizens are people in a group. Citizens work or play together. Rules help us have fun. Rules help us get job done. And it's good for citizens to follow rules. Rules also help you to be organized. And you know what you have to do and what's your rights and what's your responsibility. So over here, the students follow the class rules. What they do, they raise their hands to talk in class. Students follow the class rules. This fun activity, we can do it. Look at the title. What do you think this text will be about? About rules. Circle the words that you don't know. So something you learn new. It could be the word citizen or it could be the word rules. Underlying clues that tell you why do we have rules? We just say it's good. rule help us to stay safe. Rules help us to get along. So we can underline these parts. And who follows the rules? Good citizens follow rules. We all have to follow the rules. All right, page nine. Students are citizens of a classroom. Students follow class rules. One rule is to always put trash in the trash can. This rule keeps the room clean. So as you see, each rule, regardless where you do this rules, if you're in a classroom, if you're at home, if you're in a community, in a park, we follow any rules that don't run or no skateboarding or don't litter or you're not allowed to pick the flowers. So all these rules that help everyone to get along, to stay safe, to enjoy our time and to have or to be organized. Students share computers and other tools. Sharing is an important rule. Sharing helps everyone get turn. The rules in your class help students learn and work together. More people get to use classroom supplies when they are shared. And of course, when they are shared, that means you're taking care of it. They are put in the proper way and they are not missing. So you're organized as well. So if we look here, why do people follow rules? Because we know following rules, helping people to get along, we can also stay safe or learn to work together. Underlying clues that tell why people follow rules, it's the same. All right, let's go for it. next page. All right, page 10. Over here, we're gonna explore and answer question. So what we have here, we're talking about topic and details. We cover this also in our English lesson. So let's see what we have. The main topic is what the text is about. So when we talk about something like over here, we can say that the main topic is rules. We're learning about rules. We're learning how important to follow rules. We're learning why it's important to follow rules and what's the benefit of following rules. Detail. 
key details tell you more about the main topic. This is the more information make the main topic easy to understand. So details is the extra information I added. So for example, we know the main topic is rules. Key details, good citizen, follow the rules. That's one. Another key details, when we say rules help people stay safe and get along. So we can write this. We can say that another detail that rules help people to stay safe and to get along. All right, of course, you can always pause the video, take your time to write this information. All right, let's go for the next page, page 11. We're gonna read together in our um, uh, companion book, page 10 to 15, and then we're gonna answer the rest of the question. But let's read first what we have to pay attention and look for. The main topics, rules and laws. We have key details. Rules and laws help citizen. We kind of know now, stay safe, get along as we find and fill in our details. And then we're gonna add more details, all right? So let's read. All right, how do rules and laws help us? Rules all around. Sometimes citizens work or play in groups. A group of citizens is called a community. Citizens in a community follow rules that help them stay safe. Rules also help them to be fair and get along. And as we see here, we being fair over here, that kids are lining up, taking their turns, so each one will get a chance to use the water fountain. Again, we remember we said rules help us to stay safe. So as you see, the friends here crossing the road to get to the other side to get their bus. And then we have that they follow the rules to be safe. So they know when to cross and they know when to stop. Over here, because we're sharing, waiting for our turns. So as you see, the friends here getting along, they're all playing together. Let's see these two pictures and read the captions or the information that's written underneath. Children follow laws on bikes and in cars. Community laws. Your class is a small community. People are also part of bigger communities called towns. So you are a community of a class and that's why you have rules and you have laws to follow. And that's when we get along and we work together. Towns, towns have rules for citizens too. Town rules are called laws. You know, some laws about bikes and cars. People must wear helmets to ride bikes. Children must ride in the back seat of a car. They must use seat belts to keep them safe. So now this is one way to show us how um, um, laws and rules help us to stay safe. As we say, for example, the seat belt or wearing a helmet. All right, our country laws. The United States has laws too. The United States Constitution is the highest law in the United States. 
The first leaders of our country wrote the constitution. The United States constitution has laws about how to choose new leaders, other laws help citizens get along. Laws make sure citizens and leaders are fair to each other. Of course, to respect each other and to how to get along together. So for example, knowing that um, laws about how to choose your new leader and, uh, and how leaders and citizens should be fair to each other, that's make us know that this uh, laws help us all to get along and know that we are treated fairly. Following rules and laws. Homes and schools have rules we follow. Communities have laws. Parents make rules at home. Children may need to do chores to keep the home clean. Parents may have a rule about bedtime. This rule helps children to get rest and stay healthy. So as you see, probably for you, you think like you wanna stay a lot, you wanna stay late and watch more time, watch TV, which watch more TVs. But if you look at it, that means it's not gonna be healthy for you because you're gonna stay late and you don't have enough time to sleep, to rest, to start your next day. So following the laws or rules help us to stay safe and healthy. Teachers make rules at school. Students must share things and help clean up. Sometimes st students help make rules too. So as we see in a picture, one rule at school might be to recycle things like juice cans. This could be one of the rules. Did you know laws can change to keep people safe? Cars long ago could not go fast. Later, cars become much faster. Communities made speed limits. This means people cannot drive too fast. Speed limits keep people safe. So laws can be changed when life changes. So remember when we learned in the previous last, uh, previous uh, chapter talking about the past and the future and the present, and we know in the past people didn't have high speed car. It was just probably carriage or car that's going a low speed. So maybe they didn't have a speed limit that time because the cars won't be um, driving fast like nowadays. So now following or putting laws like speed limits um, help children to stay safe, people stay safe, and also um, uh, people can um, enjoy their life. Adult leaders make laws for communities. They make laws about how to treat others. Every citizen has a responsibility to follow the laws. A responsibility, this is another new word that we read about in the beginning of our lesson. A responsibility is something a person should do. So that's your responsibility. Your responsibility to take care of your books, take care of your toys, your responsibility to keep your room clean, your responsibility or chores to help around or follow the rules. Sometimes citizens do not follow rules and laws. This makes it hard to get along. A student who forgets a rule may have to miss recess. An adult who forgets a law may have to pay money to the community. So for example, if um, someone drives the car and went above the speed limit, so that means they didn't follow the rules, that they break the laws. And in this case, they're gonna be a fine or penalties or punishment in a different way. Let's see what we have here. One rule at home is to wash our hands before we eat. That's very important. We see in the next picture, police officers help us follow rules and laws. Okay. So now let's go to our book, page 11, and see the question we have. All right. Remember, we still talk, know about topic, main topic, and about details. So what we have in the main topics, rules and laws. Details, it's the information we learn and we know about it here. All right, we have one of the key details, rules and laws help citizens. 
Very good. To stay safe. Yep. And to get along. So we can write this down. And it's all written in the previous page. You can just go back and write down the words. Stay safe and get along. All right. Now we need more key details. What we learn here, we know that laws are for towns, states, and countries. So maybe we should write this down. Those are for towns, states, and countries. So over here, we said safety. So stay safe and and get along. And we have more details. Laws are for towns, states, and countries. Okay. You can always pause the video. The video, take your time to put your answer. All right. So the last activity for our uh, lesson for today, first lesson for our chapter, think about it. Okay, write about it. Think of a rule you read about. Why do you think this rule is important? And you can write down why one of the important uh, reasons that you think this rule is good. For example, if you choose to the rule of wearing helmet when you ride your bike, I think this is a good rule because make sure that I'm safe. So in, in stay, uh, to keep safe and to make sure that I'm not injured when I ride my bike, I should put my helmet. So I think this is good rule for safety. Or when we traffic, when we cross um, the road and we follow the traffic lights or for kids when they put their seatbelt when they are in their car. So this is all for safety. And whatever rules you choose, you put it down why you think it's important, you write it down here, and then you're going to draw a picture to show this rule. All right. For page 13, it's good to have fun and do this activity. Connect to that. List two rules that you follow at school. For example, like taking turns or tidy up put everything in the right place and say why you think it's important. Is it for safety? Is it for saving time? Eating for, to get along and have fun and enjoy our time together? Whatever your choice, it's gonna be here. All right, that was our first lesson for our first chapters, law and rules and why it's important and why it's uh, important for us to, to follow these rules and the laws for the towns or cities or countries or states. All right, that's it for today, first graders. Thank you.